Hello everybody and welcome to the first episode of Halo Spartan Assault. Um, now I'm doing this because a friend of mine hasn't actually played the game, wants to see a playthrough, so I'm moving this up now and I'll be doing this side by side with currently existing series because this isn't exactly a very long game, so it's not exactly much effort. <laughs> um, so yeah, this will be a full playthrough of the game, all cinematics, all the tech stuff as well as an alien weapons only experiment as well and see how far I can actually get using nothing but alien weaponry. Same style as Halo Combat Evolved has been. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go straight into it now. You can't just new game this, it's a bit weird. You have to go into settings and play the cinematics through this for some reason, but whatever. Also, I'm playing this on controller, although this has been done on PC. I just can't get used to keyboard and mouse with this game for some reason. Uh, also, yes, when you see my experience, it was hacked. It got a bit screwed. I was testing out a cheat trainer on this game once just for the fun of it. And I pushed the wrong button, button, button and gave myself a load of XP, which I did not actually intend to do. You can believe me, Sean. Don't believe me if you don't want to. Up to you. Anyway. But yeah, no cheats are active during this playthrough. Stress that. Um, <laughs> yeah, so. Introduction. Greetings, Spartan. I'm Roland, UNSC Infinity's AI. We're going to study the historical battle in hopes of increasing your tactical skills for the future. As a bonus, it's a pretty fun game you can play in your spare time. So let's get to it. Okay then. Right, I'm pretty sure, yeah, the next one you don't actually have to start from here. Right, now we can actually go to start and play them from here. So, the original game consists of operations A, B, C, D, and E. And then F was added as a random expansion to, for everybody. And if you do the Xbox One version of the game, then there are cooperative missions as well after Operation F. But this is PC, so I don't have access to those. Um, if I do get them in the future, then maybe I'll do a cop series with them if I can find someone who'd be willing to do that. <laughs> so, well, we'll see how that goes. But moving on to Operation A, Umbra. records for the Battle of Drapius V. The fighting started when a splinter sect of Covenants ignored the ceasefire of 2552 and attacked UNSC forces. By the time the fighting was done, well, it didn't end well for the UNSC or the Covenant. Either one. Spartans Davis and Palmer were both stationed on Drapius V's moon at the time of the first attack. Let's see how they succeeded in repelling the first assault wave. Yes, let us see. Um. Okay, my controller just died. What? Um. Okay, I think the cable fell out. That was that was interesting. <laughs> uh, okay. If that keeps happening, I'll have to switch the cable out just to uh, make sure. Hopefully, that doesn't happen again. <laughs> right. So, how do I scroll that? So, uh, Section A1, Assault on CF-32. The northern continent of X-50, Drathius V's moon, was riddled with large ice-covered sinkholes where the UNSC conducted a number of research projects. While there were, st um, <clears throat> sorry. While there were standard security measures in place, no one was prepared when a massive fleet of Covenant spirits appeared over the moon in direct violation of the Human Covenant Treaty of 2552. Spartan Davis deployed to site CF-32 to support the project's security detail, who were overwhelmed by the sudden attack. Davis managed to blunt the assault and moved to secure Alpha Facility, when, uh, which he assumed was the inevitable target of the invasion force. I'm terrible at reading out loud. And we do have skulls. Do I want skulls? I don't think I want skulls. But yeah, as you can see, the XP is totally legit. Um... 
Honestly, the amount of times I've played this, I'd probably have a shit ton anyway, but just not quite that much. Alright, I need to beat someone to death to get a weapon. Oh, fuck me, that was already a nearly a great start. Alright, give me your gun. Thank you. Oh god, aiming. Um, normally it shows me a nice little thing on the floor where I'm aiming. I, 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 I don't have that. Why don't I have that? This is going well. Honestly, I think it actually takes less ammo to overcharge them than it does to kill them legit. Does it drain your ammo? No, it doesn't. So yeah, three ammo points. Then again, I'm picking ammo up. And I was looking at the ammo bar rather than my targets, which probably isn't a great idea in a shooter. Yeah, I'm hoping that's um, the reason my aiming stuff's disappeared is because of it, the whole controller glitch a minute ago. So it thinks I'm on keyboard and mouse, but using a controller higher lead. Okay, that works. Ah yes, and they added the plasma repeater, which was an interesting choice. Rather than the plasma rifle or the storm rifle. I can understand not adding the storm rifle because I'm pretty sure that didn't even exist at this point of the timeline. Because this is in 2553 or 2554, something like that. Can you not? Oh god. Surprise! Fuck a mess. Oh no 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 no! Fuck off. Okay, yeah, this is definitely more difficult using only alien weapons because that level is normally not difficult in the slightest. Oh god, I dread to think how my score's gonna be after all these. Ah, I made it to silver. What with a double kill, triple kill, killing spree, pistol spree, assassin. Anticipation. Okay. Okay. How do I switch grenades as well? That's something else I need to find out. Uh, right. So, E2. The mirror mantle counter assault. Um, X-50's huge stretches of ice, the mirror flats, were flanked by towering ice cliffs. After ordering their main Wraith Battalion to assault Research Facility Alpha, the Covenant had quickly deployed phantoms to set up supporting artillery along the eastern cliff wall. With this artillery operational, a UNSC counter-offensive would be suicide. This rendered Alpha Facility a vulnerable target. Spartan Palmer and a detachment of Marines were sent to infiltrate the Covenant positions and destroy the plasma artillery. Navigating the maze of cracks covering Mirror Mantle Ridge would have been an insurmountable challenge for most soldiers, but Palmer was able to use the terrain to her advantage and surprise the artillery positions. A victory was instrumental in giving Alpha Facility a fighting chance. Oh, okay, my armor ability is a regen field. I'll start with a assault rifle and a magnum. Not ideal. <laughs> um, do you have any weapons? That'll do. Okay, I have the laming thing again. Oh god! Oh god! Uh, I'm gonna kill that so they can't use it. Then again, I could have used it. Um, how do I switch grenades? I still don't know. Hold on, I've got one. B! B is switch grenades, right. There we go. Okay, I've got weapons. <laughs> Can I have ammo? Thank you. Ooh, ammo. Thank you. Alright, no, no, shoot, no, shoot, shoot, shoot the explosives, shoot the explosives! Thank you. Right. <laughs> Bye, Phantom. Thanks for playing. Alright, I remember I always get flanked here, so I am going to wait here. Because I'm pretty sure guys come through here. Or is that later? Alright, maybe that's later. Never mind then. Yeah, there are, aren't there? There are grenades as well, though. What's that? Is that a hologram? Nah, I don't want a hologram. 
Oh. Some a Spartan, pick on the Marines. Oh shit! I love how the shade did more damage than the freaking Fjord turret. All right, Marine, that works. Got more Sangheili, okay. I remember certain bits, maybe it's this bit where they spawn from. Yeah, I remember certain bits of this game, but not everything about this game, because it has been a while. Yeah, this is where they come from, okay. Actually, no, my aiming thing's not back for when I'm just aiming as a Spartan. But if I get into a shade, it appears. Interesting glitch. Yeah, there's definitely some kind of auto-aim with this. Honestly, doing this on controller without auto-aim I think would be a bit ridiculous. Also, this game has no checkpoints. At least none that I've found. So if you die, you're right back to the start of the level. She's a bit of a bastard. And... Well, it really makes death an actual heavy price. <laughs> As Iron would say. Oh god, why am I getting stuck on everything? <laughs> Sounds like I'm playing Tomb Raider, just casually walking into walls. On it. Right. I can just skip this, can't I? Um, right, yeah, reinforcement of the perch. The UNSC's research facility Alpha was constructed at the base of an ancient foreigner structure recently discovered by the UNSC. When it became clear the Covenant were heading for the foreigner structure, UNSC command feared Alpha facility would be crushed. The Covenant were relying heavily on dropship insertion and Spartan Davis realised they would be vulnerable to focused anti-aircraft fire. So he began establishing anti- uh, Try that again. So he began establishing air defences west of Alpha Alpha facility at a location designated Glacial Perch. Unfortunately, the Covenant had identified the need to secure the area, and when Davis arrived, Glacial Perch was swarming with grunts and elites. Eh, it's only grunts and elites. Could be worse. Got sprint. Oh yeah, cause you can actually you can select some stuff if you want to spend your XP, which I probably won't do. Um, but yeah, sniper rifle, Spartan laser, or rocket launcher, but they only last for this one mission. So you can have, you can, if you wanted to, you can have a rocket launcher and a Spartan laser as your two weapons, and you're just OP as fuck. Um, you can also choose auto sentry, overshield, seeker drone. I might do overshield for some of the later levels. Um, so again, I would have enough XP legit anyway, so I'm not too concerned about spending XP. Um, and then you can have boosters um, for yeah, increased shields and damage score, whatever you want. It's quite nice, quite arcadey, but it's not too bad. <clears throat> okay, it's got the warriors to the top of the cliffs. Will do. This is something else I loved. They actually added Halo Wars vehicles into this game. And that made me a very happy fanboy. <clears throat> I mean, I know they literally just took the Halo Wars models and just made them a bit more high res, but still, they did something. I missed that. Shit. Hey! Oh no. Does EMP work in this? It hit DARS. That's good to know. Oh, get away from the Wolverine, you bastard. And give me a gun. Yeah, plasma weaponry is certainly weaker against um, health still, as it always has been in Halo. But when you got a nice shielded enemy, it shreds them. Oh, oh, oh you wanted those guys? Okay. That's fine. Sure. They're all yours. 
It's probably fed up with me overcharging them. And it's like, I'm just gonna grenade them. Right, where did that elite go? Oh, he's gone back there. Oh, no. Oh, and also, vehicles in this work like combat evolved. You so much as touch them, you die. You breathe near them, you die. They exist, you die. <laughs> Fuck you! Oh, you're a heavily armoured wolverine. That's a spirit, though. Not a spirit. A shade, that's the word. Why am I shooting you like this? Because I couldn't figure out how to switch grenades again. Even though I just did that in the previous fucking level. I was going to say, you can at least run that grunt over. Fuck off. Oh, that's a spirit. You guys could uh, cough. Oh, I'd love to check out all the scenery in the background, so you can see like banshees in the background with uh, like the I think wraiths down below, wolverines taking them out of the sky and all that kind of thing. But you don't really have a chance to look <laughs> when you're in the middle of a combat situation. But well, no, we're not. So we can actually have a look. It may not be an FPS, but it is gorgeous. It was also an interesting choice for them to put in the Type 28 spirits rather than Type 25s. Uh, if you're more of a like, casual Halo player, you probably wouldn't notice that and you go, it's a dropship. Um, but if you're one of the like, detailed lore nerds like me, then yeah, these things make you happy. <laughs> okay, A4, live to fight. Although the UNSC forces successfully slowed the Covenant, enemy numbers were too great to hold their advance indefinitely. A continuous stream of Covenant infantry, wraiths, and air support were moving towards Research Facility Alpha. Having concluded that returning to the main facility would be useless, Spartan Palmer began fighting her way upstream through the invasion in an attempt to reach one of the northern outposts. Her plan was to destroy Covenant air support and give the UNSC Hornets a chance to land near the outposts. The ultimate goal was to get off to X-50 and warn Drathius V of the Covenant invasion. Off of X-50, yeah, okay. I think I said that slightly wrong at the end. Oh well, um... Yes, let's go. Oh, it starts with a plasma repeater. Excellent. Why, hello there. I don't know who said objective complete to me, but thank you. What's over here? Nothing. Okay then. So what am I doing? Destroy the anti-air wraiths. Okay. Overkill. Not the metal. Just shooting a grunt with a wraith just seems a bit a dick thing to do. Ah, oh, something else I like. You get control over both of them. Like both weapons, Combat Evolves and Halo 2 style. Oh, if you were in a Scorpion, that is. But now they've done it for the Wraith as well. So I can casually shoot the Plasma Turret. And do the cannon. And you're a Wraith. Here we go. Fuck off. Thank you. Uh, you guys can just drop dead. Okay, that Wraith's not under control by anyone. Um, no, 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 target the shade. Yeah, the problem is if you tap it, it kind of tries to auto-select what target it thinks you want, and sometimes it fails miraculously. Ooh, that did a bit of damage. Oh. Yes, I wanted the rocks, not the elite. Ooh, that throw, fair play. I could switch wraiths, but where's the fun in that? I'm glad these hornets are unfriendly. Would not particularly fancy uh, just a swarm of hornets descending on me. Alright. Oh, 
Okay, those I think are slightly weaker. Or maybe I just missed one on the other wraith. Alright, and that's as far as the wraith goes, because good luck trying to get vehicles into areas that they're not supposed to go in this game. <laughs> the classic Halo driving does not work, unfortunately. Yeah, as you can see, they're very short missions. So, I doubt this game's going to take that long, unless I really get screwed in the later missions. Okay, so the final mission of Operation A. Uh, the Last Stand. So, within an hour of their arrival at X-50, the Covenant owned the moon. But despite the ferocity of the assault on X-50, the UNSC base on Drathius V had no idea anything was afoot because the planet's unique magnetic resonance frequency made off-world communication nearly impossible. While Spartan Davis fought to hold the line on X-50, Spartan Palmer executed a plan to depart to Drathius V and warned them of the inevitable Covenant invasion of the colony. Palmer ordered marines in the area to fall back to the Hornet landing zones. Only six marines made it there alive. They held out against an overwhelming Covenant force until Palmer managed to escape. Shotgun and Magnum and Sprint. Okay. So I literally just survive, okay. Marines, protect me. No, I'm not actually going to do that. Um, Alright, I need to beat someone. Oh, hold on, what's that uh, armor ability? Regeneration, yes please. I'd rather have that than sprint. Come here. No, no, no. I clicked up, oh, did I like double tap it and accidentally pick it up again? Well again, nothing was hit by a human weapon, it's fine. <laughs> oh, we've now got grunt mages. Because, yeah, in this one, majors are now silver, or white, whatever colour. I'm not sure why, but they are. Because initially, I just assumed these were ultras, but no. No, they're not. Fuck off. It's in some of the things, it says um, there's like challenges for each mission, and some of them are kill so many... Uh, grunt majors in certain ways or whatever and I was so confused for about three years as to where the hell any majors were in the game because I was looking for red that's a box I really hope I can aim better in uh, future ones when hopefully I'll get my, my thing back oh explosions no Badly. Oh, come back here, you bastard. Could you die? Thank you. May not be a bubble shield, but it's nearly as good. Oh. Hello, I need more elites. Excellent. Thank you for your ammo. Oh, another one. Thank you for the ammo. Oh yeah, there's somebody else. The um, Sankili Miners in this one are now purple rather than their traditional blue colour. Not sure why they did that. Because I'm pretty sure the um, Ungoy Miners, Grunt Miners, look reasonably the right colour. Oh, I was hoping that explosive was going to get him. Oh, that's a wraith! No! Fuck off! Uh, do I have Covenant Grenades? I do. Good. Um, there's another one there. Right, where's this Wraith gone there? Right, EMP the bitch. Bomb it! <sighs> Alright. Got another Covenant Grenade. Good. So yes, this game actually reintroduces um, the fire grenades. Sort of Halo 3 style. 
but they are not the same weapons. In this one, they are actually napalm grenades, which are human weapons. Oh, no. I'd love to, but there's a fucking wraith there. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me, thank you. Okay, now I'm not sure how long I've been recording, well that didn't feel very long, so I'm just going to carry on. I'll carry on until I'm bored and then uh, I'll stop there and just split this up into episodes, I guess. Yeah.